I'm shaking it up a little bit from the rest area to Cracker Barrel. Stepping up my game here to Walmart. Look at this beautiful corner spot. <laughs> a tree on the side and on the front and they're so green. Today's gonna be another fun day. I am headed over to another Cracker Barrel to meet up with one of you beautiful followers. And this is a bit unusual. We have been texting. We started off uh, private messaging before I dropped Facebook. I am no longer on Facebook. Yay, and don't miss it a bit after 10 some years. Anyways, that was a bunny trail. Then we started texting and then we called and we did one little quick FaceTime for a little test that I needed to do. And other than that, we don't know each other. <laughs> I don't think in my life I've ever, ever talked to somebody without meeting them within a couple weeks. So this feels a little strange because we know a, a bit about each other. Of course, she knows way more about me than I know about her. But we're gonna have uh, breakfast at Cracker Bell and then we're gonna take a walk through town. So, hope you'll join us. Made it to Cracker Barrel. Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. Got to stop and smell the flowers. Woo, look how pretty. Look how pretty, guys. Wow. And I think Kathy might be inside. I'm about five minutes late. That's my, uh, yep, gonna be late to the funeral. And I love walking in here with the, the rockers and everything. So we're gonna go inside. Oh my gosh, I think she's right there. We'll go inside now and meet Kathy. Is that you, Kathy? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so wonderful to see you in person. I'm good. I'm close and personal here. I know, I and know. I thought I saw you, so I was going to video, but I didn't push the button, so I need some lessons. Oh my gosh. Well, Kathy, how are you doing? I'm doing great. You look beautiful. Yeah. Wow. I'm so excited. This is like, I don't know, we got our new, our coffee date here going on. I know. Coffee and water. I got chilled water. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And so you had uh, made a, a nice little plan because you got here yesterday. What what are we going to do today? We're going to visit Old Town Franklin, Tennessee. Oh, my gosh. And you've been there before, did you tell me, in a text? Years ago. Yeah? And in the fall, oh, my gosh, it's just one little shop after the other. Pubs, old homes. Oh, it sound, sounds exciting. Yeah. All right, well, you've got Babbling Brook for a couple hours. I hope you're prepared. I think you already know that in advance. I, I, I'm prepared. I'm ready. Okay. Well, Linda, you look just like your videos. How about that? Well, that's good to know. That's good to know because, yeah, I don't, I don't want to uh, do anything, you know, that's, that's not real. So, yeah, we, we share so much in common with our faith and our political views and, and the state of this country and and children and all kinds of cool things and I feel like such a blessing now to actually meet you in person and that this was like a divine appointment well I feel the same way all right Kathy well I guess uh, we're gonna order breakfast and um, yeah and then uh, hope you'll follow us along the way okay thanks Kathy walk in walk in so it's about 11 o'clock Kathy and I just had a wonderful chit chat, pretty casual. Um, we do really already know each other. <laughs> We've had everything from long, good text chats, company. We've not emailed each other, just texting now. And uh, some good long phone conversations. We pray for one another and our situations. And it's been, it was really nice, really nice. So now I'm walking over to her shuttle bus. 
I asked Kathy, which I always do when I meet somebody new. So in case you're wondering, if there's a time when I'm meeting somebody and I'm not showing them to you, it's because they are not interested in being filmed. So, and again, and even with the inside of their rig, if they don't want to show me the inside of their rig, I'm not going to call them on it. I ask them ahead of time. But Kathy has been very gracious. Uh, I've never seen it myself. And she's going to show us the inside of her little shuttle bus. She calls it a little shuttle bus. And she has a sweet, sweet doggy we're going to meet also. So I'm going to go into town for a couple hours and then she's going to hit the road. And I need to chicken. I got my first rotisserie, rotisserie chicken at Walmart last night, and I'm gonna put this in her fridge, just, I don't know, to be on the extra safe side. Though put in the comments, could I just leave this? It's gonna be about 60 today, and I'm gonna eat it up the rest of it today or tomorrow, so I'm thinking I'd be doing okay with it, but I'm gonna take advantage of her little refrigerator. So let's go and see what Kathy's gonna show us now. Oh my gosh, and who do we have here, Kathy? This is Chauncey. <gasps> yep, I adopted him um, three and a half years ago. Oh, he's my. Gosh. Yeah, he's a little guy. Um, he's about three and a half years old. Um, I got him from Egypt. Are you serious? Come here, Chauncey. Let's, come here, let's show them your Wow, he's, stars. he's beautiful, Look beautiful. Here, now this is what somebody in Egypt did to him. Oh, I'm so uh, attacked with a machete and a wonderful, absolutely wonderful rescue and rehab in the United States took him in. And they are SNAR, which is, I forget, something rescue and rehab. Wow. He was with them for two years, nobody wanted him. And since I've been to Egypt, I'm like, oh, he just kept calling my name. Beautiful. He's got some Basenji in him. Oh, he's not a great travel partner. Oh, okay. <laughs> he gets really nervous. Uh, he's just lost a little brother. I didn't think about getting emotional, but uh, so I've got one travel partner. Now. Oh, wow. And we're headed to Oklahoma. This is awesome. And this is your shuttle bus behind you. Oh, yeah. I redid this last year. Okay. And how long have you had... Do you have a name for your bus? Spirit Wind Casita. Spirit Wind Casita. Yeah. Very nice. And where does that name come from? Um, in the late 90s or mid 90s, uh, God gave me a, a ministry um, to do with my hot air ballooning. And when I uh, told the hot air balloon history story after each flight, then I would minister, somehow I would minister God in there and what he's done for me. And uh, the name of it was Spirit Wind. So that's just always gone with me. Oh, that is fantastic. I love that. Okay, so tell us a little bit the facts about your shuttle bus then. Well, I've um, traveled. We'll walk around here. I've traveled for several years as a nomad uh -huh. um, and some of that time has been in a big fifth wheel okay and I got tired of hauling a big fifth wheel around um, okay so I was in a what do you call them like a van uh-huh and a big conversion van with a high top I see and I redid those and I wanted a shuttle bus with okay my little fur family okay so I redid this last year. I love carpentry work. And um, so I did all of the work on the inside myself. Oh, so you'll be able to show us the inside? Um, yeah, I'm packed up for traveling. Okay. So it's, um, it's not a perfect picture display, but sure. Oh, that's fantastic. So let me show them the other side here. I did a little bit when I was walk when we were walking up. Adorable. So it's a I know nothing about this. E350. It's a Ford. Anything else you want to about the details of it that they need well, to know? I got it or might want to know? I got it from a dealer. Um, once um, a bus is retired, this one was retired from the Upper Cumberland Transit okay. in Tennessee. 
so uh, I knew that it would be well cared for as far as maintenance. Uh, a lot of miles on it, but uh, it was in my price range. Very nice. <laughs> so um, gutted it out, took all the seats out, and uh, just kind of let my imagination run away with me. Um, I call it my little short shuttle bus. Your little short <laughs> shuttle bus. I know, and you're an artist sort too. You design purses. And I've got a few, yeah, right now. And you may be starting a channel at some point too. Um, I would like to. It just hasn't happened yet. Okay, well, we'll interview you again when that happens. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, Kathy, let's go inside then. This is obviously your driver's seat. That's my driver's seat. And I Chucky. like your coverings here. Get in your seat. And you did all this? Oh, yeah, that was the first thing I did was get rid of all the black leather. I had to That's beautiful. do something to put beautiful. my initials on it, so my signature. On yeah, it. and we're going to keep in mind that you're in travel mode now. So. I'm in travel mode, but this is my, I've got a few things up Lovely. here. Oh, this is my garden. Oh, started, so I've got some little Aren't you a smart girl? <laughs> now, do you mind sharing Spinach. where you were coming from? Well, we're in Tennessee now, but before that, were you, um, is there, there's a place where you, you just go all over, or is there a place you want to share with us where you spend some time? Oh, gosh. Um, my home is Kentucky. Okay. And Tennessee, and um, seems like I, wherever I go, I end up in Kentucky or Tennessee again. So okay, gotcha. So I, I've kind of been there a little too long, so I've oh, to spread my wings. Yeah, you've got the, the moving jeans going on now. Got them again. Okay, so what else? Whatever you want to share, I'll just... Well, I'm just... Uh, okay, well, this would be my desk. Uh-huh, that's adorable. And uh, I have all of my paperwork and things in there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still going to be building a little bit more over here as far as shelving. Um, and like I said, I'm in travel mode. So right, you got your fan uh, and the shelves up there. I did put uh, this up and some ambiance and lighting here. Beautiful. And uh, for when I'm not plugged in, yep. I can plug into shore power. Okay. Uh, I've got my faux uh, clam here. Portable pop-up gazebo. Faux because uh, all these uh, sold these for a lot less, and I managed to get that. Nice. Um, so I'm not quite finished here. I'll do some more carpenter work when I get stationary. This in. is lovely. And then this little thing, does this flip up? This actually, yes, it does. Ooh, and I like it. Out. Another little bit of handiwork. How cozy is that? And so you did this that. this is where I sit. Okay. I have my little... That's, uh, yeah. This is, I've never seen anything that like, like the, you've designed. This is so adorable. Um, We've got the, the star lights up here. <laughs> We've got lights up here. Look at the bulkhead there. Oh, and this is, I know, a new cre new uh, project you just completed. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. screen there. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful so, curtains and your little palm tree lights. I know, I love those. And uh, for when I am hooked up, and I will be hooked up to shore power in Oklahoma. So I do have my portable air conditioner here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a visitor seat. I have water and different things stored under my bed. Okay, okay, so there's uh, a storage under a there. Here in case I have a passenger. Okay. You're welcome to go. Uh, to town with me instead of driving Happy Haven, if you'd like. I would so, love that. Thank sure. you, Kathy. Sure. We'll so she fun. sees she's not over the babbling brook yet. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, of course, I built all this. Um, my refrigerator is a chest type, so I chose to use my countertop like that. Wow, you are so, snazzy with a, a, such a space saver. Uh, designed so nice. Well, but think about it, anybody out there who thinks they might want to do a chest type and you're up here cooking, uh, you always have to move everything over to get into your fridge. Mm -hmm. So maybe next time I'll go with a regular refrigerator. So I see. Think about that. Okay, okay. And More then I storage. love the way you uh, hang things up here. That's very nice. Uh, it's kind and of cluttered. Oh, and works. this is your new pride and joy, right? Yeah, yeah. I salvaged this out of my conversion van when uh, someone wrecked into it and totaled it, but thank God I'm okay. And um, 
So that's a really handy thing to let the heat. And out. you did most of the work in putting this fan, right? Yeah, did, did you sure cut? Did. And you cut I the. I made the hole in my roof. Oh <laughs> my gosh, Kathy! Talk about so, that would be very stressful to me. And it would be really super easy to have done the electrical work, but I did have a friend to help me with that. So okay. He, um, he uh, was real handy. Well, you there. are a handy dandy for sure. Um, and then what do we got back here? Heater. This is a wave. Uh, do you mind if I on sit on your? No, go okay. ahead. That's my couch. Okay. Bed. So That's what do we have there? Uh, this is my propane heater. Uh huh. And um, I have my hose going back through there, and then my propane tank is back here. Wow. Um, the way I built this is I can open the old um, wheelchair doors and access all of my cooking stuff from back there for cooking out when I'm parked. Well, so aren't you the, table. you're just thought everything through here. Yeah. Um, this is still a work in progress. Of course, this will, uh, in the next week or two, it'll have a beach scene painted <gasps> on it, but. And you'll paint, right? Because you're paint. the artist. I've got all my art equipment under the sofa. Oh, there. that's going to be fantastic. So, and this is, uh. And you've only had July. this, what, since last kitchen. July? Oh, I'm sorry. Last I didn't, July. Last yeah. July. Okay, mm -hmm. so you've done really well. And that's your kitchen area. Let me s s scoot back yeah, here a little bit, a, Chauncey. Um, all right, Chauncey. <laughs> I've got my dishes. Very in. nice. Yeah, and all so. your turquoise and your whites. Mm -hmm. Nice and clean. And a lot of my tools and things are back here, so. Okay. i got to have my tools with me. Yeah, for sure. And then behind you, I okay, guess, would be our last my... little... Uh, well, this is my creation. I do Ooh. make uh, hobo bags. Yeah, <gasps> this, is, uh, this is my storage room, my um, somewhat wardrobe, my bathroom. Um, I had a little space. I felt like I could make something here. So I went to the um, antique shop or just whatnot shop, found some shutters. So I made an armoire too. Oh, <gasps> actually. Girl. Yeah, so. And so that opens up. It opens up. And has your clothes in there. And has a lot of a lot of my clothes in here. When I'm sitting down here on this special little stool here. Yeah, your throne oh. there. <laughs> my throne. Well, I can just get in here and wash my face, do some cleanup, and, um, you know, different very things Very good, I need to very do. good. I love it. All the way down to the bottom. <laughs> You're very talented, Kathy. And we so appreciate i mean i know that everyone's going to just love seeing your little home here oh, well, and you. so now you you did mention you're on your way to oklahoma and then yeah. from there do you have any other ideas uh i'm gonna play it by ear there mm -hmm. uh, rebecca used to live in kentucky and uh, we worked together so we're looking forward to spending some time together um and uh, who knows from there. I might right. even get her on the road. <laughs> well, you do sound like so. a, uh, a de you, you definitely are a nomad because we don't know from one day to the next. And how many times and places did we talk about we might meet <laughs> before we I finally know, right? met? So, so, yeah, the combination of both of us. Uh, God uh, finally intervened and said, enough girls, you're going to meet. So, yeah, I'm so, yeah. I'm so grateful and so happy that we uh, got to meet Chauncey, too. He's a beautiful, beautiful dog. And uh, thank you for what you do with animal rescue, too. That brings tears to my eyes because yeah. I know that um, you take care of him just like your own baby, your own baby child, right? Yeah, he's my priority. He's your priority. As we say. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Yep. And uh, so and, I used to, actually, I would do transports. So we would do like an hour and a half leg transporting a dog all across America, if that's something you ever think you want to uh, get into, uh, it's uh, very rewarding. Wow. Okay. Well, um, yeah, Kathy, so people can put in the comments, you know, if there's any, if they have any questions for you or anything, and, and we can go from there. So sure. I'm excited to go into town with you and to sit in your little shuttle bus as you shuttle us on down the road let's do it all yeah, right i forgot i'm gonna be like bob wells when he asks his uh guests that are that he interviews so was there anything else that you wanted to share with us about your uh shuttle man 
Uh, just re keep in mind that uh, most everything has dual purpose, um, time and, um, well, space, not necessarily time. But space is of the essence, so um, I did build my bed up off of the floor. And I've got tons of storage under there. Oh, Keep wow. My tools and okay. Under there. Very good. So, um, that's one thing. Uh, when I am traveling, oh, you might want to, you might wonder about how I do run the refrigerator, and I didn't tell you that. Um, it's, I can plug it in to shore power if I'm someplace that's available, or I can run it off of 12 volt. And I do run it off of 12 volts. Oh, right you've got now. the baby Jackery like I have. So I've got this. Yeah. And uh, it's really handy when, um, see, I've got it turned on here. Yep, yep. This is my, Love my Jackery power. And um, I don't have an Amazon store, but I know you do, Linda. So oh. this is actually, I got this from your Amazon well, store. Well, thank you. And big hugs. Yeah, I'm so yeah. grateful. Thank you. So, and then I see you do have the monster over here, I which do. I'd like to work up to someday. I do. And I got that um, with one of the stimulus checks, you know. Oh, is that, a, I, is that a thousand watt? This is, what is that? This is... Um, 500. Oh, that's 500. Yeah, okay. I got that through your Amazon store. Wow, so. I'm I'm indebted and grateful. Yeah, and uh, so this, uh, I keep this charge with that power. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. I've got, if you want to turn around and look, I've got like tons of storage overhead. If anybody's ever thinking about getting... Um, oh, you're talking, these, these are storage. Right here. I can open this? You can. It's kind of like the... Yay! <gasps> oh my gosh, Kathy had no idea. You have given people so many cool ideas. So, All right. It's fun. All right, then we're going to keep on, keep on going here. All right, well, let's hit the road. Yeah, thank you. Biscuit Love at the historic corn house. This is going to be so much fun walking around this small town. Cute shops, great company. God has blessed us. Look at this beautiful parking spot in the shade for Chauncey. It's free, two hour free parking. We're only gonna be here a couple hours. And I hope you enjoyed the tour of uh, Spirit Wind. Kathy is getting Chauncey settled and we're gonna just go on down the street. So put this on your bucket list. Look at the beautiful, beautiful flowers. Good idea. We don't want anybody getting all stupid with a broken window. I love it, Kathy. Nice meeting you, Chauncey. We'll see you later. All right, you're a beauty. That's my kind of sign. Let's see your smiling faces. Mask mandate ended Williamson County on February 27th, 2021. Okay, this store deserves a big, a big wahoo. Yeah, Haley V. Good job, Haley. Love it. Oh, look. Oh my gosh. Let us. We've seen several stores here in Franklin, Tennessee. Standing up for our freedom, haven't we? Amen. Yep. Let Amen. us see your smile. Williamson County Amen. mask mandate yes. was lifted. Welcome. Here. Welcome in. And I say yes. to people, yeah, losing our freedom one mask at a time. Mm-hmm. Awesome. <laughs> All right. All right, so I can't pass this up. Your daughter used to play the violin, and I love hearing this. Look how beautiful. And he's standing there in his bare feet. So very nice. And then down the ways is a big, uh, the circle with cannons and all kinds of history. It's just a lovely day in the neighborhood. And Kathy's on down the way there. Look at these beautiful, beautiful old 
shops and many restaurants. Things in your day. And joy in the journey. Franklin, Tennessee. Stunning.